going to be running my very first spring hello world. So to do this, um, we have our console here, but that's not the important part. The important part is we would are in Eclipse. After we have everything installed, we want to go to File, New, and then just make our spring project. So we would come here. Since spring is not available, we would just go to Other, and then click on the Spring Starter Project, Maven Project, Java 8, and we could just give a description. We have our package and our artifact here, hello world, hello world. Um, I'm just changing the name back to hello world because that is my actual application that I'm going to be running. You can call it whatever you want. And then we click next. The things that we want to submit are web based because we are going to be running this in a browser. So we could just type web and then these three under web are going to pop up. Actually four, but we only want three. And uh, make sure when you type web you don't have a space because I accidentally messed up. We need Jersey, Spring Web Services, and Spring Web all selected, and then we can click finish. From there, if we just wait um, 30 seconds to a minute, it will generate our Hello World project. It's going to generate our Hello World project here. So in here, we want to expand our SRC main Java, and then we're going to open this inside of here. We can see we have our package here. We have our import. We have this at Spring Boot application. This is just saying that it's a Spring Boot application. We have our hello world application class, and then we have our public static void main. And then inside of here, we have our spring application.run, and then we have this hello world application.class with our arguments. So this is going to happen, this is gonna execute when we run this. And so we need to run this application. To do this, we are going to be in the same package. We are going to click new, and simply just make a new Java class like this. We can call it app configuration, and then we're just going to click finish from here. And then it's going to look like this. This is for the Spring Controller class. We want to request mapping. So we will do at request mapping. And then inside of here, we are going to pass in hello. So this is what's going to execute. So when this is passed in, when we have a hello after our port, when we run it in our web, it's going to execute a specific thing. And this specific thing is going to be a method that we're coding out next. So this method is going to be a public, it's going to be a string, because we are returning our type string, and we want to call it the same name as how we have up here. We're just going to have parentheses around it, and then inside of here, we are going to just return whatever we want, but for here, it's going to be our simple hello world. And then we can end this line. Now notice how there's a red line in here? It's because uh, not only did I spell that wrong, but we actually need to import something. So hovering over it, we can click import, and it's going to import this here. The last thing that we need is our rest controller. So we're going to at rest controller. With that done, we will, are also going to have to import this as well. And so that's our app configuration done. So when we run this application, when we run our package here, this is going to run, it's gonna execute this class. And if this is typed in, we are going to return hello world. So we have to have a forward slash hello world or backslash, we get those mixed up. Now, there's one thing that we need to note, and that's the port number. Typically, we'll run on like port 8080, but if it's busy, we need to configure a port, and to configure a port, it's gonna be in resources, applications.properties. And then inside of here, all you need to write is like server.port, and it's equal to whatever server port you wanna use. So it's gonna be 8081 here, just server.port. That's going to be how we make this and then from here, that's going to be all done. So we can save everything. And then we can go over to our hello world. We can right click it. We can do run as, and then we can do a spring boot app, this one right here. So clicking this, it's going to run. Now with it running, we can pull up a browser window like this. It's going to keep running in the background. And inside of here, we are just going to want to type our local host we are going to do a colon and then we are going to type our port number so local host the port number so it's basically like an at and we have 80 81 and then we're just going to do our dash or slash hello and that's going to input what we have in our app configuration right there so inside of here we'll press enter and we can see that we've executed this right here we have our hello world if we refresh it, it's still going to be hello world. Now, if we change this to like, hello, we have a white label error page and we're going to get an error for it. 
But if we change it back to hello, since we have something for it, it's going to be hello world. So that is what we have here. So that's how we would run our first Spring application. Super exciting.